Good evening and welcome to the hot and spicy. Uh, Saturday night, you might see something different here, something different here. Uh, Mrs. H is doing it's Halloween tomorrow, not today, but I'm doing it, you know, weekend, isn't it? And um, new t shirt of Mrs. H and uh, a beer she's seen, thought I'd like from Lidl's Eagle Brewery Banana Bread Beer. Many thanks, Mrs. H. Right. Yes, how's it going? All right. Um, it's five point two ABV. <laughs> okay, Chinese tonight from the local Chinese. This here is roast duck. In garlic and chili sauce, and I asked for extra chilies. It took him three times to actually know what I meant. <laughs> These are a garlic and parsley chipata bread, very light, beautiful. And these are prawn crackers. And out of sight here is some seasoned rice. Okay. After the banana, we're going to go on the old speckled hen after, but uh, let's uh, try this. Is this going to be banana flavoured, isn't it? Not sure what I think of that. We'll try. All right. Let that settle a minute. Bring that to you. I'm dying to... I have got some backup if it's not hot enough. But uh, I've got to say this, the, the duck they put in beautiful lots of seeds in it so let's give it a go mm. oh man straight away flavor wow yeah garlic duck garlic mm. chili wow Really nicely done. Mm. Superb. Cheers. Well done. <laughs> Cheers. Wow, that is nice. Banana. Banana bread beer. That is lovely. There's a hint there. It reminds me of a... Oh, what sweets? We used to have some sweets um, or candy years ago of a banana flavour. And that absolutely reminds me of that. But it's nice in a beer. I wasn't sure what I'd think of it because I'm not too... Too thing of... Um, if the bee is too sweet, but one's okay, see. Look, can you see? I don't know if you can see this, you want to spill it everywhere. See the duck, I don't know if you can see that, but wow, mm. have I room? Yes, I have. That is hot. Let me just clean that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on your menus this evening if you're having anything I'm the takeaway and I noticed oh that is they do a roast duck curry so I'll have to try that see the rice Nice and fluffy. Mm. Size this duck. This sauce is absolutely stunning. Texture, flavour, and a lovely build up of heat. Not over the top. 
could go a lot hotter but sometimes the flavour mm. is beautiful mm. Well, we had a forecast of rain today, which it did early on, especially on the way to work. And then it turned into one of the beautiful autumn sunny day. You're not supposed to do that. But if you're in this house, you do to food whatever you enjoy the most. <laughs> mm. Well, the scent from this, oh, I can't think of these sweet, sweet stuff. Maybe you remember them. Just like a banana flavour thing. I can't remember, can't remember what they look like. But like the, the scent, the taste, I mean. I'm thinking of shaving them. That's the same shaving. Smell a scent of something, an aftershave cologne, a soap, and it'll take you straight back to a childhood memory, to a specific house, people, room even. Amazing what scent and taste can do. I've not had a Chinese for a long, long time. Very reasonable too. Lovely duck. I see the red there, that's the chili. So he lis whew, he listened. That is building nicely. Very, very tasty. Because I do like a Chinese curry, thick onions in it, chicken, the sauce, just a unique flavour. But I can add heat to that to myself and it's oh, lovely. Have you had a good week? Wow, I've not had these for... <laughs> I watched them cooking these ones. You may have said I was friendly um, with one of the daughters um, <coughs> in newer and she said come round the back and show you how the... and they're like a plastic disc when you see them. And her father put one in, and it just went. But this was a big. This was um quite a bigger, bigger than these, but a little disc thing, and it it went to about that size. Well, not much bigger than them, but the way it just bubbled up, and he got it out, and there yeah, he said, "That's it." Didn't take well a minute, anyway. That's another thing when you go to the takeaway, listening to the, like the walk in the back going, you know, the smell. Ooh. Wow. Mrs. H has had a mushroom chow mein. There's a nice, uh, that is um, a nice heat there. 
in building. So it's burning, but all the flavours are there. It's not over the top. That's good. And sometimes you can ask for extra chilies or sauce or whatever. Yeah, no problem. And you can't, well, I can't taste the, the heat difference to a normal one. But that, I can tell he's done it beautifully. Wow. Well, it is quite warm in here because it's been, as I say, it's been a lovely day. Uh, but it, it's been windy the last few days though, quite rough wind. <laughs> we haven't to um drink this evening. This I must say though is a bit of a eyes bigger than your belly moment. Rice, poppadoms, bread. Mm. So roast duck, garlic and chilli. Beautiful. Mm. Melt in the mouth. Tomorrow's dinner is going to be um, roast belly pork and they're good and stuff, you know, skin on, a nice bit of crackling on them and then, oh, and then um, garden peas, carrots, potatoes which will all be steamed and uh, some lash of gravy. That'll be lovely for a change because we've been away for the last couple of weeks, haven't we? Filming bits and bobs and visiting stuff. So, a busy afternoon today. Um, get a lot of emails, you wouldn't believe, uh, through the channels, mainly the other one. And uh, so, I've been answering them. From different people and companies. I can't get over this. I think as well when you don't have something for so long, when you do have it, it's all the all the tastes <laughs> just like ten times better absolutely beautiful Don't forget in the UK, um, Sunday morning, 2am, the clocks go back an hour, an hour more in bed. Uh, so, sometimes, uh, well, depends how many of these I've had. <laughs> remember to um, put them back before bed but otherwise you do it in the morning and there's always the odd chance that uh, when you wake up and you look at it Christ, I'm late one knows an hour back and it's late <laughs> yeah be my last full shave face shave tomorrow for the um I'm doing Movember in 
Um, well, not in honour, but uh, in what's the word? Respect to the uh, cancer, you know, the um, cancer awareness for ma male cancer awareness. Um, well, and women as well. There's cancer, there's cancer, isn't it? But there's different parts of. But this was started. Uh, the November was to like prostate cancer, and, you know, bowel and all me men stuff in it. Prostate. So as to um, in aid of that, really, in respect of that. Talking at work to a colleague, I said, You doing it? Yeah, he said, I'll do it. But the fact is, sometimes when you the month's over, yeah, it's nice to shave. You know, part of you want to shave it off and get rid of it, but there's a little bit of you which thinks, Oh, don't you know, keep it. <laughs> and I've often thought, God, should I keep it and shave it off Christmas Eve? But um, it gets the better of me, and I, I take it off. Really, but, uh, but that's due to having a shaving channel, I suppose. But you do get attached to it. Pardon the pun. Oh, Gareth, if you're watching, my colleague in work, give me a joke. So uh, it's all his fault if it's not funny or you don't get it. He said... Uh, a friend of mine has had a new job and he's in a chess factory where they make the chess games, you know. And he said he's on nights tonight. That went down well. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Mm. Amazing, excuse me, nose, good sign that. And they're using good chilies in that. Just had a chilli then, I know that flavour, excuse me. That's a lovely, oof, nice. Let me just top this up. So are you up to are you up to much this weekend? Are you going trick or treating if you've got children obviously? <coughs> a bit worrying if you're going trick or treating and you haven't got children. A bit old for that, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> no, I said uh I know it's big in America, Halloween, isn't it? It's very, very celebrated there. But over the last, I'd say, 10 years, it's become more of a thing here. You know, it's a long since gone are the days when you just put a... Oh, something went down. Something, <laughs> it was not my thing. <laughs> Somebody's dropped something. I don't know if you heard that. But. Um, long since gone... Of the days where you just put a bin bag, a black refuge bag, got two holes for the arms and one for your neck, and just went round with a pumpkin. <laughs> the effort we used to put into it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't want to go on too much. Because I won't finish this all unless you want to stay till two in the morning when we can change the clocks back all together. <laughs> that was lovely. Firstly, if you like banana and beer, and you wouldn't tell that was a was it five point two? Yeah, five point two percent. That you wouldn't like, you couldn't tell. Dangerous, that. Two of them, and you'd be, you'd be whistling in the garden. <laughs> um, very nice, if you like banana and you like that type of stuff. Littles. 
Yeah, really nice. Thank you, Mrs. Eight. So I'll go on to this now. Off camera, don't worry. What's what's the strength of that before you go? Oh, this is what makes these fit five percent. So that'll go. I will be in the garden. This won't be edited. <laughs> Too busy singing and whistling in the garden. And that was absolutely stunning. I don't know if your Chinese does it, but try roast duck, and garlic, and chili sauce. Stunning. I added. I added. I asked for extra chilies. I wanted it hot. Um, it's not hot as in what I class as hot hot. But the more you eat of it, the flavours are there. That's never dwindled. But the heat built up to a nice burn. I'm very impressed with that. Really nice. This is nice. Garlic and uh, parsley. Chipata bread. Prawn crackers. Seasoned rice. And some more beer and more. See, he hasn't had a, he hasn't had a meal for a while. <laughs> you can have some of this if you want. So if you celebrate Halloween tomorrow, have a fantastic day, stay safe. Um, see you in the morning on Paul H Films for The Shave, if you follow me on there. Um, if not, I'll see you in the morning for the... Um, oh, just pass me that then, sorry. She said, oh, I forgot to use that, didn't I? Sorry. Mrs H, <laughs> I forgot to use that. Am I in trouble now? Oh, God. She's uh, bought me this from where? I don't know. From somewhere. Well, here we go. The cat's in. It's all going wrong now. Um, I'm supposed to use this tonight. This Halloween sort of themed drinking vessel. So many thanks for that. Sorry I didn't use it. But um, Melly's in. Oh, here we go. I, I don't give her any of this duck. She'd love it. Unless I take the sauce off. She might have some here. Come here then. Hey. Come on, we haven't got all... All day, what, what time is it? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you follow me on Paul H Films, I'll see you in the morning. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Whatever that may be. Whew. Candles, baby. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.